The eastern lowland gorilla is a subspecies of the eastern gorilla, one of two species of gorillas found in Africa, the other being the western gorilla. The eastern lowland gorilla is native to the Democratic Republic of the Congo in Central Africa, where it inhabits the dense forests of the region. Unfortunately, the eastern lowland gorilla is currently listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to habitat loss and poaching for bush meat. The population of eastern lowland gorillas has declined significantly in recent years due to habitat loss, poaching, and civil unrest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to the latest estimates from the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List, the population of eastern lowland gorillas is now critically endangered, with fewer than 5,000 individuals remaining in the wild. Eastern lowland gorillas live in groups known as troops or bands. Troops typically consist of one dominant silverback male, several females, and their offspring. The silverback is responsible for protecting the group and leading them to food sources and safe resting places. The size of eastern lowland gorilla troops can vary but they typically consist of 5 to 30 individuals. In some cases, troops may merge temporarily to form larger groups during periods of food scarcity or to defend against predators. However, these groups typically disband once the threat has passed, and each troop returns to their own territory. Within a troop, there is a complex social hierarchy, with the silverback at the top and other members arranged in a linear ranking system based on age and size. The females in the group are usually related to one another, with a mother and her offspring forming the core of the troop. Young males may leave the troop once they reach sexual maturity to join other troops or form their own. Eastern lowland gorillas are one of the largest primates and the largest of the gorilla subspecies. Adult males can weigh up to 113 to 181 kg and stand up to 1.7 meters tall when standing upright. They have a broad chest and shoulders, and their arms are longer than their legs. Females are smaller than males and typically weigh around 68 to 113 kg and stand around 1.4 meters tall. They have a thick, muscular body covered in black or dark brown fur, which helps to protect them from the elements and camouflages them in their forest habitat. Eastern lowland gorillas have a prominent brow ridge and a large jaw, which is used to crush tough vegetation such as bamboo. They have a broad chest and shoulders, and their arms are longer than their legs. Their hands and feet are large, with opposable thumbs that help them to grip and manipulate objects. Male eastern lowland gorillas, known as silverbacks, are larger and more muscular than females, and they have a distinctive silver-gray patch of hair on their backs that gives them their name. The silverback is the dominant member of the gorilla group and is responsible for protecting and leading the group. Females are smaller than males, and their fur is generally shorter and darker. Adult females have a distinctive swelling on their abdomen known as a belly pad, which is used to support their infants. Both males and females have a broad, flat nose and small eyes, which are adapted to their forest habitat. The lifespan of eastern lowland gorillas in the wild is not precisely known, but studies suggest that they can live up to 35 to 40 years. However, in captivity, where they have access to regular veterinary care and a steady supply of food, they may live up to 50 years or more. Like all animals, the lifespan of eastern lowland gorillas can be influenced by a variety of factors, including diet, health, and environmental conditions. For example, 
Gorillas that live in protected areas and have access to high-quality food and water may live longer than those living in areas where their habitat has been degraded or destroyed. The survival of young eastern lowland gorillas is particularly sensitive to environmental conditions, including maternal care, food availability, and the risk of predation. Infant mortality is relatively high, with an estimated 30% of infants dying in their first year of life. Eastern lowland gorillas can make a variety of sounds to communicate with one another. Grunts, a deep, rumbling sounds made by males to assert dominance or to warn off potential rivals. Roars, a loud, long calls made by males to communicate their presence and establish territory. Hoots, a short, sharp calls made by both males and females to alert others to the presence of food or danger. Barks, a loud, explosive calls made by males to scare off predators or to alert other members of the group to potential threats. Chest beats, striking the chest with cupped hands, which creates a loud drumming sound, is a display of strength and aggression used by males to intimidate rivals or protect their family. Whimpers, are soft, high-pitched sounds made by infants or juveniles to communicate with their mothers or other members of the group. Eastern lowland gorillas are primarily herbivores, and their diet consists mainly of plant material, including leaves, stems, fruits, and flowers. They are known to consume a wide variety of plant species, including bamboo, wild celery, nettles, and thistles. Their diet varies seasonally, depending on the availability of different types of vegetation. During the dry season when food is scarcer, eastern lowland gorillas may rely more on bark, roots, and other fibrous plant material to supplement their diet. Eastern lowland gorillas have a specialized digestive system that allows them to break down tough plant material. They have large, complex stomachs with multiple chambers that ferment the food, breaking down cellulose and other tough fibers into more easily digestible nutrients. Despite their large size, eastern lowland gorillas do not need to eat a large amount of food to sustain themselves. Adult gorillas may consume up to 14 to 18 kilograms of vegetation per day, although their diet can vary depending on their individual needs and the availability of food in their environment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.